As you're putting more information into your Roam database, it's going to become more and more useful for uh, creating new articles or writing things using your notes. So this is an idea I had for a short article just on the concept of reading slower. Right, I think that there's way too much uh, noise out there around reading faster and reading more. And I wanted to write a short piece on the value of reading slower. And you can see I have a couple of notes in here already. So these are from the book, How to Take Smart Notes, right? which uh, in an earlier video I went over and showed me pulling some of the notes out from it. And so when I had a couple of ideas about this as I was reading it, I copied them uh, into here. I should also mention this is my personal database now. This isn't the uh, tutorial one that we've used for a lot of other stuff in the course. So uh, I'm using it because it's going to have a lot more information for what we need to, to do this video. So uh, I'm going to show what I've been doing to come up with more ideas for articles uh, as I'm working on them in Rome. And sometimes I'll do this all at once. Sometimes it'll happen kind of passively, but I'll do this one uh, sort of all at once so you can show how you can use your database once you've been adding a bunch of information to it. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll start adding a bunch of tags to the article to give me some jumping off points for uh, finding other interesting ideas. So reading is obviously a big one here. Personal knowledge management is going to fit in. Note, let's see, note taking, I would say smart notes as well, although I think that's going to bring us some of the other same other stuff that we've done. Let's see what else is going to be a good jumping off point here. Probably learning is going to be something there. Uh, and then I might start by opening up some of these in the sidebar and seeing where they take me. So I'll do control shift O and I'll see what reference is reading. So reading slower, how to take smart notes. Okay, so what else in here would be good? Reading, learning, maybe writing. I'll add that as another related tag. Smart notes. Okay, so this article, how to read lots of inputs in a strong filter. I'm definitely going to want to look at that. So I'll come back to that later or I'll just shift click it to open it up right now. Let's see, references to reading, note taking, Tiago Forte, serendipity, progressive summarization. I'll just go ahead and open progressive summarization and uh, Tiago Forte as well. And then I'll just close the mentions of reading. This is an article from Morgan Housel on lots of inputs in a strong filter. So I like this quotation. My reading strategy is to start as many books as I can, but finish few of them. So I might just copy over some of these quotations. So I'll hold down Alt and drag them in. Conflict between these two, most books don't need to be read to the end, but some books can change your life. I'll pull that over as well. Um, all right, that's good. Reading, reading slowly will make you quit books faster, right? So this is kind of interesting, right? This is this same idea came from Smart Notes. So I want to pull this over here and I'm going to just nest it under the Morgan Housel idea. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new heading, something like quit more books. And then I can actually unindent that, but I can indent both of these because they're these are all related to this idea that you should quit more books. And then uh, there's probably also a note here on taking fewer highlights, or maybe we'll say like narrowing your highlight filter. And the note here is okay. So I want this idea from Smart Notes, but then I also want to say that. We can pull this down into quitting more books, right? So narrowing your highlight filter to get more useful notes. I'm also going to want to reference, reference how to take smart notes and my article. And once I've published an article, so this one's live now, you can see I've got the live URL here. So I'll just like pull this over. So I've got it for later. Um, and then I've also got book notes on this. So uh, and actually, this is probably something I should add to my database later is, you know, when I open this up, it might be nice to add like a notes link so that when I go to uh, my site and I search for my public notes on it, I just want to have this link in case I want to mention it in an article. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to drag this over as well, just because I'm going to want to reference those links uh, when I uh, reference this in the post. So narrowing the highlight filter, quitting more books. All right, those are both good. What else should we reference here? So this is where I might just start diving into some of the other areas. So I think reading slower is valuable for learning. So I'm gonna just pop over here. One thing that I'll usually do before I jump over to another page is I'll take this 
and I'll do control shift zero so that I can open it. Uh, I'll click somewhere in the page, do control shift zero so it opens in the sidebar and then shift click this just so that I get this in the sidebar so that I can add notes as I jump around. And this is where we start diving into each of these tags. So I'll just start with PKM. I'm thinking by hand is better, right? Uh, narrowing the highlight filter. Maybe I'll just reference this idea again because I like this idea. Uh, reducing effort is not necessarily desirable because effort's a good filter for value. Yeah, let's pull that in. Or maybe like ease is not the goal. It's maybe a good idea for this and we can nest this under here. Unify topics of interest, store notes for discovering them later. It's not really relevant. And then let's see what else here. Reusable components, tailor, personal knowledge management, design your work by Tiago. What about unlinked references? It's just for medleys. All right, cool. So that's about it for PKM. Now I'll open note taking, reading slower, smart notes, PKM. All right, not a ton in here. Oh, we're clean. Okay, so this is a good book. Let me just go like look and see if anything stands out here. So obviously I haven't fully organized these book notes, uh, which is too bad. But now that I'm here, I'll just add a quick note on cooking. Mise en place. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. All right, uh, what about smart notes? We've probably already touched on all of these. Yep, all right, not much there. Okay, learning. So this is gonna be a relatively large one. So let's see. What can you learn from other disciplines? Think beyond your narrow frame, look for other areas you can get ideas from. This is kind of interesting, right? Ease is not the goal. So maybe I'll like pull this over and then there's some reference here to like annealing, right? Like honing the samurai sword. That was sort of like just something that jumped to mind when I read that. And so maybe that's an idea that I can drop into this article. Reading slower, smart notes, Zen mind, beginner's mind. Probably not relevant. Tools of Titans, no. Talent code. It's not a lot here. Okay, this is interesting. Franklin's process for improving his writing. Recreated those sections in his own language. This is like close, it's almost relevant, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, art of learning is kind of an interesting one. So I'm just gonna add another thing here and add art of learning so that I know to come back to it later. Uh, pragmatic thinking and learning, that could be a good one to pull notes from too. Let's pull that. Peak, mastery, how we learn. Okay, cool. So let's go look at a couple of these books then. Art of learning. Yeah, see, I like this, I like this line a lot. I know it's overquoted, but I'm gonna drop it in here just so I have it as a reference. Growth comes to the point of resistance. So if you're not like really engaged, you're probably not getting a lot out of what you're reading. Our present we are at practice. Okay, this is kind of interesting too. Ease is not the goal. There's this, there's some elements of like flow, flow, challenge. How do you make it effortful enough to get a lot out of it? And then uh, I kind of, I wanna pull, where'd it go? The more present we are at practice, right? So reading is kind of like a, a kind of practice. intellectual practice. All right, I like that. Depth beats breadth. Ease is not the goal. Narrowing your highlight filter, quit more books. You know, this is kind of relevant here. So I'm gonna pull in the depth, not breadth, right? Don't read lots of books really fast. Read the good ones really slowly. Record your ideas. Uh, okay, so that was from Art of Learning. Let's look at pragmatic thinking and learning. Everything is part of a system. Keep practicing. The more senses you engage in a task. So I, I kind of wish I had had this in my Smart Notes article because it's really good. Ease is not the goal. Yeah, I can actually kind of reference it here, right? So I can say like, you know, you want to, uh, this is part of the value of Smart Notes you're engaging more senses in a way by having a manual note-taking method along with your book. So I'll just highlight it. Change your viewpoint, see it, do it, teach it. Oh, okay, so deliberate practice is kind of an interesting concept for us to touch on. So let's go into deliberate practice in a sec here. You notice I just opened it in the sidebar to hold on to it for a moment. 
Uh, talent code, pragmatic thinking, learning, peak. So peak is probably going to be our best source here. Ease is not the goal, right? And so this is going to fit into the flow challenge. How do you make it effortful enough to get a lot out of it? I'm going to mention deliberate practice. Quick mark goals. Ease is not the goal. Reading is intellectual deliberate practice in a sense. Keep changing things to keep learning. So this is kind of an interesting idea, right? How do you make it effortful enough to keep changing things to keep learning? Oh, okay, you know what? I hadn't even thought of deep work, but now that it's here, uh, okay, I wanna link this. And then let's go here and see what else we've got. And it's just peak and deep work. All right, let's go look at the book. Distraction-free concentration. Ease is not the goal. Narrowing your highlight filter to get more useful notes, quit more books. This need to focus to really get a lot out. Speed reading is inherently unfocused because you're focused on speed. And the other thing I should have been doing is like adding all of the books as I went here. So we pulled notes from Deep Work, pulled notes from Peak. How to take smart notes, make these tags. It's just a visual thing, but it makes me feel good. I think there were some other ones, but it's good for now. Huh, Moonwalk and Feinstein, Meditation, Mindfulness, Parkinson's Law. Is there anything in Mindfulness? Shallows, oh, Shallows might be interesting. All right, so Shallows by Nicholas Carr. Oh, this is kind of a fun idea, right? Uh, we become what we think, right? So if you have bad inputs, then you're gonna have bad outputs or like a shallow mind, right? So by quitting more books, you make sure that you have really strong inputs and that you aren't thinking the same shallower things as everyone else who is reading pop business books or things getting recommended on all the podcasts. Granted, I'm completely guilty of that, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, books, social media, tech addiction, mindfulness we already looked at. Tech addiction, There, there is this element of like speed, right? Like how do we, how do we comment on speed? I could like drop in a quotation from Infinite Jest. Oh, uh, yeah, see, there's always a good quotation in here. Boring activities become much more interesting when you focus on them. All right, let's go back to our article, reading slower. Okay, so we've only been recording for a couple of minutes, but, uh, or for maybe like 10 minutes, but as you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of ideas pulled in from other articles that are gonna be really strong jumping off points. We've got these three areas, right? So reading slower, right? Like why do you wanna read slower? Uh, one, because ease is not the goal, right? Like deliberate practices. And then since, uh, well, and so yeah, like ease is not the goal, reading is intellectual deliberate practice. So we wanna focus on like learning as we're reading, not just trying to like bang out books. It's not a competition, right? That might even, it's not a competition. Uh, that might even be its own good point that I can elaborate on later now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, narrowing your highlight filter uh, to get more useful notes is super valuable, right? Because you want highly actionable notes, things you can do stuff with. You don't want to highlight 10,000 words from the book because they're probably not all that relevant. And then reading slower, it encourages you to quit more books instead of skimming through them out of obligation, right? And the good thing about quitting more books is that then you read fewer unvaluable books, you get you know better ones in your queue, uh, and you're probably gonna end up reading more interesting things. So yeah, I mean, we've been recording for a few minutes now, and I've got like a whole pretty solid outline to base an article on. And then from here, what I would do is I'd probably start diving into each of these areas, right? So I might just open this as its own page and then say, okay, uh, some of these, you know, are my own thoughts, but a lot of them are just quotations from other books, right? And I can pop it open to see where they're from here. I might use some of these in the article, but what I'd probably do is make a couple breaks here and then say like notes, and I'll just like make this a header 
highlight all of these and kind of indent them. And then I'll start like outlining my actual outline up here, pulling from these as like my jumping off points. And then that's gonna make it really quick to draft out an outline, turn it into a draft like we'll do in the next video. And bam, you've got an article.